Rob from the Centrum Live here with my man Kid Capri. What's up, dog? Ripping shit out there like it ain't no thing. You right. know what I mean? So what's up, man? What's this all like? You know what I mean? Like it's a hot tour. You know what I mean? When you first put a record down, did you ever think you'd be out here? Or you know? Well, I ain't think it'll be as big as it is now. I thought, you know what I'm saying, I'll be good at something, but I know it'll be I'll be lasting this long DJ. It's been twenty two right. years. Man, you get mad props from people out on the street, yeah. from MCs, other DJs, you know what I mean? That's right. it. You know what I mean? And you know, I noticed you be doing like from Def Jam comedy yep. to ripping a concert to go doing a ceremony award, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. How do you prepare yourself to switch up, you know what I mean? Well, that's a part of um being entertained. I mean, I guess you gotta be flexible. I could play for ten people or I could play for ten thousand. You know what I'm saying? It's a matter of how much you love the music and how much you love doing what you do. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times brothers just go and try to get the money and it ain't always about that. It's about going to make sure these people are happy. So next time they'll come and pay to, to come see you again. No you know what I'm saying? No doubt. I mean, you gotta think of long term, you know? Yeah. And and speaking of long term, where you think Kid Capri's gonna be at in ten years, you know? Man, I'm gonna be a hip hop empire. <laughs> Man, I see you in the source every like every other month, you know what I mean? Rocking new gear. Like you like the head lugs, you know what I mean, representative. Oh, yeah. Well yeah, they um they um I, I did two of the advertisements for Lugs, you know, me along with Ed Lovin and, and you know, uh, Eric Sermon and Redman, Keith Murray and D'Angelo, you know, and Snoop, he, you know, he did one. So, um, you know, they, they blessed me with a lot of stuff. I, I wear all kind of different stuff. Down. And then Kid Capri as a kid, who was he listening to, you know what I mean? Who was the DJ that was like, oh, I want to do that one day, you know what I mean? Well, first, before I, before DJ and the Scratching was really out like that, I was listening to slow music and, and, and old records that my father used to listen to way back in the 70s. And then when 76 came around, you know, that's when DJ was really to the light. You know, I seen a kid playing in this in this party, and it made me want to do it. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, I was just watching them all night, and I just ended up getting on my own mixer. My mother bought me a mixer. My man had two turntables, and we just went for ours. I bought a record, he bought one, and next thing you know, it was 31 DJs around the block, and then I'm the only one that stayed with it 22 years later. So you know. Now, when you was younger, you know, I assume you was working and all, and this and that. Did it ever come down to? either eat dinner or buy this record for tomorrow's party, you know what I mean? Or, or would you say, you know? Well, uh, that's a good question. I don't think so. Um, I always I always had enough. I mean, I wasn't, I was never poor. I mean, I wasn't a rich kid or nothing like that. I didn't really have no, a lot of money or nothing like that, but I had $2 in my pocket, you know what I'm saying? So um, my, my mother always made sure that I was all right when I was cool. All right, B. I wish you the best, you know what I mean? You, You're dog. definitely on the rise, you know what I mean? My props across the country. Appreciate it. I'm out. Oh yeah, this is Rob from Music Mania. I'm out. <laughs>